Hi, I'm Sergeant Brett Norfleet with the Clarksville Police Department and I'd like to bring a very important message to you today. That very important message is that school has started back. And with school starting back, there's some things that I would like to share with you about our schools and our roads. First of all, we'll see the school buses back on the road. And with that being said, remember, when the school bus lights start flashing yellow, that indicates that they are getting ready to stop. So be prepared for that. Once the red lights are on and the stop arm comes out, please observe that and stop. It is not only for the safety of you, but it's the safety of our children and our school bus drivers. Secondly, you will notice the school zones are back active. You will see those lights active again, and when those are active, all school zones will be a 20 mile an hour zone. A lot of people think of 20 mile an hour as it being a very slow speed, but when you do the math and equate that to feet per second, it is 30 feet per second that a vehicle is still moving, and that's still fairly quick. So please observe the 20 mile an hour in the school zones. Next, I would like to talk about our hard working crossing guards. Please be aware that they are in the school zones. Uh, they have handheld stop signs, and watch for those as they stop traffic to let the buses in and out of the schools, along with our walkers that go to and from school in the mornings and afternoons. Uh, our crossing guards work extremely hard, so please make sure you operate your vehicle safely around them. Violations are another subject I would like to talk about. Violations carry a very hefty fine for passing a school bus, or speeding in our school zones. And no one wants to pay your hard-earned money for a violation that you could have prevented. So please observe the 20 mile an hour zones and also the flashing lights on our school buses. I wish each and every one of you a safe and happy school year and thank you from the Clarksville Police Department and myself personally.